Actually, it came out, and uh, we're putting it back out again uh, with a few extra okay. songs that's coming out on the life of That's like an out download album. Okay. And uh, then we're um, then we're actually heading into the studio in a couple of weeks' time and finishing off the next album. Okay. So. And it's been written already. Yeah. Oh, it's all done. It just needs one week of work, and then it's completely finished. Okay. Cool. So um, I don't know. Maybe that will come out later on in the year. We'll see. It's a mixture of everything. I mean, we always combine stuff, like yeah. know, tons of program stuff, loops, and all that kind of shit, and samples, and then of course you got the organic stuff on top of that, like you know, my drums. Yeah. Uh, and you get the guitar, shoot loud, and all that shit. So, um, it's just a big mix. There's a lot of sound. Okay. It's a lot of stuff going on. And where did you guys record? Uh, going to be recording in? Um. Norway. Yeah, Norway. In front of the studio, just mainly. So yeah. We do, we do a lot of it at home because we. We always invest in studio equipment anyway. Okay. So we can do a lot of it on our own, then we usually take everything into like a bigger studio. Yeah. And just mix it. So that's what we're doing. Yeah. I never pay attention to anything. Okay. I never know what's going on. I just do my thing. And then uh, whatever Boom. genre we get sort of lumped into by yeah. analysis, where we, where we are, I guess. But uh, no, I mean. I don't feel it's challenged, I don't see why I would, or yeah. should, but, um, to me though, I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but a lot of this seems to sound the same, it's like, you know, you put distortion on your vocals and they think you're an awesome act, it's like, um, you have good songs, you know, yeah. are your songs any fucking good? Yeah. That's what I care about, good songs, you know? That's true. Uh, I can't see it happening, no. to be honest, I mean, it's, it's done its job. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's in the past. I'm not gonna deliberately call it anything. Okay. As in terms of like eras, because like, to me it's like we did era one, two, and three. And I'm like, you know what? We're kind of done with that. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? It, it just gets a little tacky after a while. So okay. They they served a great purpose at the time. Um, now I'm, I'm I'm just gonna ignore it. Yeah. If people wouldn't call it era four or whatever, I mean they they can do it, but I'm not gonna ignore it. It's, okay. It's not gonna be my idea in that case. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Just whatever people think, just go for it. Whatever they go for. been really inspired by, you know, um, certain artists like Charlie Klaus who I really like. I like to scrub song, he remixes a lot. Yeah. Um, I'm, a, I'm a pretty big fan of pretty much anything Miles Snow puts out. Um, you know, me and everybody else, everybody loves them. So. Uh, but I, I mean, to me it even goes as far as like Johnny Cash or, you know, Enigma or whatever scheme. I mean, I like a lot of them. That's cool. As I, you know, I grew up with Kiss and the Moss. And yeah. I like a lot of hard work and that shit. Yeah, what are you talking about? Talk about you, actually. <laughs> um, yeah, Iron Maiden. I mean, I'm, um, I'm, um, I'm basically a hard rocker, you know. Yeah. So, of course, I, I had to like all that stuff. That's good. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> I just defended them in the region. Um, no, thanks for sticking around. I guess. Yeah, I always appreciate when um, people buy our records and stuff like that, so, yeah. Thank you so much, man, for your time and interview. Yeah, it's my pleasure.